Saika design pattern consists of a main application plus a helper container which is essential for the application. But this helper container is not a part of this main application. The most common sidecar container types are helper utilities, the monitoring agents, and then some syncing agents, and then there can be more. Let's take an example where you have an application container and then you need to send the application container logs into a centralized log server like Splunk. To send these logs, if you bundle the Splunk agent into the main container, that means the management and the updates of this application as well as the Splunk agent would be a little bit harder. So the best practice is to segregate these logics into a sidecar container and the sidecar container will be only focusing on how to send these logs into the centralized log server. Here is an example of a sidecar implementation. I have my app container. App container is writing the logs into app logs location. These logs needs to be shared with the sidecar container because of that I have created a shared data volume using MTDIR and then this volume is mounted into app container that log file location as well as it is mounted into the sidecar containers var log location. That means the same logs of the app container will be able to accessible uh, in the sidecar container using the var log location and this Splunk agent is running to push these logs into the Splunk server. 